my name is Ross Buchanan and I work as a, a forestry consultant here in the northwest. And I'm engaged here in the, the Clon Manny catchment and then this nature based flood solution project. It's a pilot project here in the Republic of Ireland. And it's, it's u- using a model that's been implemented in, with a good level of success in the UK. Uh, and one of the measures that's been implemented as part of the project is what's called Lakey Dam. This is the leaky dam structure, so it's, it's pinned into each bank. We've got strainers here to hold it in place, so it's not going anywhere. It's tied together as well, and uh, yeah, so it's not going to rip out and go downstream. And you're going to you're going to maintain it. You're going to ensure that they um, they aren't falling apart over time, keeping an eye on them. But basically, during a, a peak flood event where stuff's falling here in the upper part of the catchment. It's all getting channeled in via drains into the streams. It's shooting down into the lower urban areas where people live. Um, it's an attempt to hold it back. So as, as you get rain, the water level is going to start to come up. The streams are going to rise. And once they hit the bottom of the, the, the leaky dam, it's slowing the flow. And it's actually it's starting to actually hold back water. Um, and so as it rises up, the water is getting out through the gaps. Uh, so it's it's a dynamic load rather than a static load and it comes up and it comes up and, and ultimately it'll overtop the dam if, if there's enough water coming uh, and rather than flowing out into the field we're below the level of the field so it's going to overtop and, and head down here but the the concept is that each one's designed uh, based on the average bank width based on the, the depth of the channel and based on the gradient of the channel to hold back approximately three cubic meters of water, which is three ton of water. Um, and so one dam's holding back three ton of water. And you can imagine that if we had hundreds of them uh, on the landscape scale, that during those peak flood events where the rain comes down and it shoots down, you've got a massive flow coming through. What actually happens is the, the leaky dams hold it back. So you've got less coming through at any given time. And then as the levels subside, the three tons slowly released from each each dam, and that's that's the concept of the Lakey Dam, recreating what nature does naturally. Cheap to implement, relative to hard engineering measures downstream, to try it, where they're trying to hold back w- water that's been shot down from all round. We've got more rain falling now than before. We ha- we've drained our landscape significantly, so everything's shooting down during those peak flood events, and uh, this is an attempt to kind of to hold it back. And and you know you're spending maybe tens or hundreds of thousands up here versus millions down there. This is prevention rather than cure and repair, and that that's the concept of the.